Hello, this is Kendra Von Esch of Shalom World, bringing you the news from around the globe. Around 10,000 people took part in the Rally for Life March held in Dublin, Ireland, organized by the Life Institute, Precious Life, and Youth Defense on Saturday. The rally began with a mass offered by Bishop Kevin Duran. Anti-abortion campaigners at the rally said the campaign is focused on repealing the 36th Amendment, which permits the Irish Parliament to legalize abortion. I think it's really important that Ireland does not become desensitized to the value of all human life and the equal dignity of all persons, even if they're only tiny and in the womb. Archbishop Iman Martin took part in the march and said it remains as important as ever to affirm the sanctity of all human life. An Egyptian government committee has approved the legalization of 127 churches, which were previously being run in an illegal capacity. While the committee still has many churches to legalize, this is a promising start for a country where Coptic Christians have faced fierce levels of violence and persecution for decades. Even though this is a step in the right direction, Christians still face daily persecution from groups within the Islamic majority population as well as mistreatment from the government itself. Pro-life lawmakers in Ohio are pushing a new public school curriculum about the humanity of the unborn child, with the goal of reaching an abortion-free society. The bill is sponsored by State Representative Niraj Antani and is pending ruling in the House of Representatives. If passed, it would require Ohio's Department of Health to design a curriculum around scientific facts about fetuses and gestation that will be taught in both science and health classes. Niraj Antani said the proposed law is an attempt to promote a culture of life in Ohio. Bishops in Northern Ireland are speaking out against amendments to a bill in the British Parliament that would loosen abortion provisions in the region. Abortion is legally permitted in Northern Ireland only if the mother's life is at risk or if there is risk of permanent serious damage to her mental or physical health. Elective abortion is legal in the rest of the United Kingdom up to 24 weeks. Archbishop Imam Martin of Armagh said he is deeply concerned by the suggestions that amendments are being considered to the Northern Ireland Bill, which will hijack this bill to remove existing legal protection for unborn babies and to fast track the legalization of abortion on demand in Northern Ireland. The Vatican announced that Pope Francis has approved a miracle attributed to Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen's intercession, making his beatification possible. The Vatican Congregation for the Causes of Saints announced the decree approving the miracle on July 6. Archbishop Sheen was a famous television evangelist during the 1950s and 60s in the United States, and his Emmy Award-winning television show, Life is Worth Living, reached an audience of millions. Thanks for watching and for your support. Stay in touch on social media, on our app, and online at shalomworld.org. May you walk in the light of the Lord, and may peace be with you always.